This is the rampaging Pearl River on its way south from Jackson. Here at Columbia, old timers say, when the river's on its best behavior, it's still the worst river in the state of Mississippi. The Pearl is boiling and angry today, and for the 10,000 residents here in Columbia, it's a waiting game, waiting to see how fast and when the Pearl comes out of its banks. It's being called an 8,000-year flood tonight. Colonel Don Pope of the Army Corps of Engineers from Mobile, Alabama, broke the bad news to a gathering of city and county officials at mid-afternoon here in Columbia. If you hadn't had the Ross Barnett Reservoir, you'd just as well get the hell off this town, the colonel said. With the Ross Barnett Reservoir, now it's only a 500-year flood. And then the colonel said, this is unofficial. But it looks as if the Pearl River is going to crest at 29.5 feet on Sunday. And one to three inches of rain is in the forecast between Friday night and Sunday. The colonel went on to tell officials, you're looking at a flood you've never seen before. Prepare for 30 feet. Columbia Mayor Robert Bourne told Newswatch 13 that a 30-foot flood will put the water into the heart of Columbia and water into the stores in the business district. The mayor says tonight his city is facing a major disaster. It would appear the situation here in Columbia tonight is turning from bad to worse. The bad is the flooding Pearl River. The worse is the weather forecast. 80% chance of rain tonight with a forecast of 3 to 6 inches of rain. Officials here in Columbia say 2 inches of rain adds a foot of water to the already flooding Pearl River. They're told they're telling us now that we can expect 3 to 6 inches of rain in the next couple of days. What's that going to do to you? Well, ever we figure as a planning factor, every two inches of rain means another foot of increase on the river here, and all of our all of our city drainage uh, goes pours into this river too. Right now, the river has been clocked at a speed of 10 feet per second. 4,200 people have been forced to evacuate the Marion County and Columbia area. It's 9:40. We're in the middle of the Pearl River. It's called the 98 Bypass, and we're just a little ways from Columbia, and it happened. They're cutting the 98 Bypass tonight. A reliable source said it all came about because of backdoor politics. It doesn't matter how it happened. This bypass, this $50,000 bypass, may save the heart of Columbia. The order to cut the 98 Bypass came after Governor Cliff Finch asked state and federal officials to review the situation a second time. And then about 7.30, Tom Wallace of Wallace Construction in Columbia started making the first cuts in the controversial highway with a front-end loader. Some two hours later, the second and larger cut was made in the highway. By midnight, a crane was brought in, and it worked till daylight. A CBS News cameraman got these shots of the bypass at mid-morning. They worked all night to get this cut in the 98 bypass of Columbia, and the mayor thinks it's going to do a lot to save his city. As you can see, there is a great deal of water flowing through here, and this federal and state highway is washing away. At noon, the mayor of Columbia inspected the site on the bypass. I think that we're seeing a result of cutting the highway this morning since I just got just as we were loading in the vehicles, I got my, my CD man came from off of the bridge, and we have seen a static river now for running in, that's on the gauge up there running for the last few hours. This is the reason I think now we're seeing a result that this is, is definitely helping us. Uh, there was some debate out here among the engineers last night as to whether or not it was going to actually help because we've got such a tremendous volume of water coming in here. And it will, I don't have to tell you, there's, there's a waterfall here for some several, well, two or three miles up and down this road here. There are some local folks asking tonight if the cutting of the bypass was necessary. But city officials say it's too early to answer that question. Merchants in the downtown business district were warned at mid-morning to go to their stores and stand by to begin sandbagging. They remain there tonight hoping the worst is over. The fear then and now is the forecast of three to six inches of rain. Mayor Robert Bourne told Newswatch 13 late this afternoon he felt his city could now handle the flooding Pearl River. His fear now was directed toward the creeks in and around this beleaguered city. Officials say three to six inches of rain will overflow the creeks and force water onto the main street and into the stores in the heart of the business district. 4,200 families have been forced from their homes here in Marion County, but so far no one has been killed and there apparently has been no one seriously injured by the flood waters. This is Scott Peterson, News Watch 13 in Columbia.
On Friday, April the 20th, the Pearl River at Columbia was far enough out of its banks to have caused the evacuation of some 200 homes. The acres and acres of loose water had gone as far as the Highway 98 bypass south of town and could go no further. The bypass that was built in 1973 was acting as a dam backing up the floodwaters. Residents there say it did the same thing in 1974. By Friday night it had become obvious. Either the Highway 98 bypass had to go or the downtown would soon be underwater. So Mayor Boren and companions armed with a backhoe came out in the rain and the dark, cut two holes in the bypass, relieving the pressure on the downtown businesses. And once the bypass was cut, the river at the flood gauge dropped nearly a foot immediately. The river stabilized and increasing and coming up into our, the south part of Columbia and into Main Street, the river stabilized and then uh, we saw a, a decline in the backwaters immediately, a reduction in them. They quit, they quit rising on us. So no regrets about going out and cutting the river? Not one bit. bit. Not one bit. From Columbia, this is Steve Dickerson for Newswatch 13.